Good morning, everybody, on another musky hunt. Yes, we are finally back together, Robbie. Yep. Uh, river time. It's fall. Turnover is kind of happening in the Northwoods right now, so uh, best thing you can do is find some current, and that's what we're doing today. Oh, yes, we have got the river boat. And, and catch Barb's first musky. Helping. <laughs> yeah, we got musky virgin here. Yep, hey. yep. <laughs> today should be a good day. <laughs> I brought five suckers down here. One, I, two, three. Four, so hopefully five, five. muskies. <laughs> that's the goal anyways. Ideal situation yep, for sure. Yep. So uh yeah, that's the game plan. Water's fifty two. Super low water. That's the only weird yes. thing right now. Not a lot of current. Uh good thing is it'll concentrate fish and river fishing, it's so cool because you know where the muskies are gonna sit. You just gotta wait them out. Yep. Oh I'm excited. Moons right now. We gotta get a sucker rigged up and start casting. Let's go. Alright folks, gonna show you guys how to rig up the sucker. Um, first off, the reel. This is a Dakota 500 high gear. Good for trolling, good for suckers. That is the line counter, by the way. That is the line counter. <laughs> but uh, anyways, the rod we use is an eight foot heavy trolling, uh, assault stick trolling rod. As you can see, eight foot heavy. This thing works great. It's just, a, it's just so nice to have that little extra give on hook sets. If that fish really runs, you got that bend in the rod and it's beefy enough so you're not ripping out hooks because that's kind of, that can be a problem with suckers. So we got a little balloon up top. See our little balloon buddy there. Balloons have been working great. Not gonna run any weight on the river here. Um, let's go see who's the first victim here. I got one big one that is, you know, he wasn't looking so great in my tank, so I brought him down. He needs to get used up. We'll roll, we'll roll him first. But I did get four smaller ones for the river here, but we'll rock the big one right off the bat. All right, and what I like to do here is put the tail in between my legs. Always wear bibs, even if it's warm. <laughs> you don't want slimy pants or whatever, so pop that first front hook. This is a Z Leader 14 to 18 inch rig. And then I go for my, my short lead. This is always the most scary thing I do in the morning. Get that off my pants. There we go. I'll do my short lead first. Kind of rotate that sucker. And then I rip some scales off. Find a little piece of skin. Like so. Pop it through. Just like that. Just a little bit of skin. And then on this long lead, I like to go by their back fin here down low. Rip some skin off. Pop it through, she's ready to roll. All right, meat, let's do something. Let's get Barb's first muskie here. All right, Barb, you're gonna throw the new 7.5 inch Death Paws Minnow in the Poltergeist Perch pattern. It's a color I've caught them on here before in the smaller size. And uh, also wanted to give a quick shout. Thanks for everyone uh, that was Nice enough to buy a Death Paws Minnow off the website uh, the last couple of days. Really appreciate everyone's support. And this thing looks good. It hangs in their face until they eat it. Please eat it. Okay. There it is. There's the rascal. Jerk reel, jerk reel, jerk, jerk reel. All right, folks, I'll also be throwing the Death Paws Minnow 7.5 inch, and that is in the white belly perch pattern. I don't know, color probably doesn't really matter that much. What matters is the right action, the right place, the right time. Ooh, that sucker is working out there. It's looking good. I wonder if he's got somebody looking at him. Robbie, what do you got rolling? Really? I've never seen you throw that. That's outstanding. Oh yeah, there is, or is that a log? Nope, that's a muskie. There is a muskie looking at our sucker. Oh really? Yeah. I can see it. It's right on the surface. Look at it. It's right to the left of it right now. It's right under it now. Yep, there it is. I 
did see it. Well, we have our first customer looking at our bait. It's not touched our bait, but is looking at our bait. Got it. She just grabbed it. Oh yeah. We got one. Really? All right, yeah. Barb. What? Barb, it's time. Oh no. What do I gotta do? Uh, you, we're just gonna back up to it. Set the hook. Like there's no tomorrow. I'm gonna have you stand up here, actually. You got the remote for me, Lee. It's right here. Kind of want to hit her before she gets in this current. Yeah. Real slow, real slow, real slow, real slow, real slow. Keep real. Keep a little real, faster. A little faster. All right, rod down. One, two, three. There you go. You got her. <laughs> Where's that neck? Keep, keep pulling. Keep pulling. Oh my God. Oh my. <laughs> Jeez. Where is this thing? All right. So lift with the rod. Lift. Oh my oh. God. We got her. <laughs> Your first musky. <laughs> And we got the sucker back. <laughs> How about that? Wow. And she's off. And she's off. All right. Oh, this is an interesting looking one. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's been around the block. <laughs> he probably needed that sucker. Cool. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking. <laughs> well, folks, as you can see, our sucker kind of got mangled. But you'll see the bite marks right here. That fish never had the head of the bait. Uh, we're kind of by some fast currents, so I wanted to hit it before she got into that. But uh, as you can see, those bite marks go only in the middle of the fish here. So it's always key to have that back lead low like that. And it worked out good. Perfect. You're, you're not supposed to get your sucker back, but with a fish like this, it worked out good. Barb's first musky, oh. hell yeah. <laughs> On the board. Lift. All right. Check All right. Holy cow, look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> look at that janky musky. Wow, that's exceptional. <laughs> Good job, Barb. Dang. Wow, what say? That's a hell of a first musky. Ooh. If she shakes, just throw her out in the boat. Okay. Okay. Look at the you tail on her. her. Yeah. Bumping the first musky? Bumping the first musky. All right. Okay, we got a 37 and a quarter. A <laughs> look at this tail. It's got a hump. Catch and release works, apparently. <laughs> okay. Hey, buddy. I'd say grow to 50 inches, but I don't think that <laughs> one's doing that. I don't know if that's going to happen. Look, he's ready to go. Right at you, though. Okay, I guess she's ready to go. <laughs> you have caught the Google-eyed musky. <laughs> Should I figure. So how does it feel? Um, I don't even feel like I caught a musky. <laughs> like, that's just so weird. It's bizarre with when you... Have a sucker on, and you basically it's right under you, and it's like fight, 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 and then over. Yeah. And he really wasn't that capable, I don't think, of fighting but that hard. He's kind of had a hard life, it looks like. <laughs> but we will take that for a first muskie and first fish of the day. So. Sweet. Well, folks, the update is at 4.30. As nice of a day as it is. <laughs> yeah. We've not had any more musky action, but we've got one in the boat. So we'll one, take that. I don't even know how to describe that fish, but other than it's Barb's first musky, so <laughs> we'll take <laughs> so it. I'll take anything. Half a tailed, big pop-eyed musky. Um, it still goes down easy. We'll yeah. take them. Yeah. Um, yeah, no other action. Uh, we're going to head back to where we had that follow on the sucker earlier this morning. And that'll be our last spot of the day. So, wish us luck. Yeah, a couple more bites. I can see it happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we're not out of this game yet. Oh, yeah. She's got it. She picked oh, it up yeah. on the surface. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. That was a sweet, sweet ease. <laughs> that was a neat. All right, yeah, she's taking off now. Okay, this is gonna go right here. All righty. All righty. Yep. It's gonna crank, gotta. Oh, yeah. Yep, real slow, <laughs> real slow. 
Alright, 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 alright. There you go. <laughs> there you go, that feels Keep that rod, guys. Okay, how big is this? Should we back you off the drag a little bit? Oh my god. Yeah. Yep. Oh. oh Well that wow. sucks. That was incredible. Yeah. Should have gotten to that tray soon enough. Ugh. It didn't look like a big fish when I saw it eat on the surface, but it was probably over 40. It was a nice one. Dang it! <laughs> so stupid. Oh, there's probably more here though. Well, folks, the good news is we got on the board with the first muskie for Barb. <laughs> Bad news is we lost the bigger one. <laughs> yeah. How come the bigger one gets away? I don't know. It just seems to be the always, law. Always how that works. So, yeah. how, about, how about the power on that second that one? That was though? scary. Yeah. <laughs> A little different than that wow, first one. Yeah. Uh, probably about what 12 14 pounds more <laughs> yeah yeah when you only got half a tail um you're not gonna swim as fast yeah. or as hard so at any rate what about the eye on that thing it was, it was weird, weird weird looking fish <laughs> popeye the musky yeah and half a tail we'll yeah. take her yeah that was a unique fish but uh yeah that's uh well your first time sucker fishing really i mean for the year well, yeah kind of did but not really wasn't really going but this was cool to get on some river sucker fishing yeah i'm sure we'll do it again but uh yeah from here on out it's uh lows below freezing now pretty much it looks kind of solid for a couple weeks yeah so, so. fall is here um they're only getting fatter yeah. that's the great thing about <laughs> it so make sure you get out and try to slay a beast this fall um, that's all we got for you on this short little outing. I guess it's been long for us, but kind of a shorter video. Yep. But please make sure you hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.